his Chelsea side were unlucky. They had decent chances in the first half. But he then said, we played some confusing football <laughs> in the second half. Now, Paul, as a, as a Chelsea fan, would that worry you, hearing that? Uh, very much so. Very much so. Uh, if Solskjaer went in at Chelsea, he couldn't do what he's doing at Old Trafford. He hasn't got the personnel to do that. I mean, I, I don't see the DNA at, at Chelsea. I, I don't know what they're trying to do in the game. I, I don't see... All I see is, fingers crossed, hope Hazard beats three players and scores a goal out of nothing, and then might... Or William does something special. I don't see any... Any game plan. I see the way Man United play, they play with pace, but you know, when they break, they'll get people in the box. There was a stage in that game today, I think Azlor Quetta went down the wing, he crossed it in, and Kante was the furthest man forward in the box. I mean, that, that shouldn't be right. That shouldn't be right. He's the best older midfield player in the world, in my opinion, or one of them up there with Fernandinho. I don't see what Chelsea, the way they're playing at the moment. They're becoming a they're becoming an arsenal without the ball. They're becoming one of the worst teams in the league without the ball. When they go and close down, I, I, when I go to the games, I go to the games, you, I sit up high. When you see that when they close down, no one, it's not in sync. It's not in sync. No one sort of knows what they're doing. One will go, one won't. What, last week, Jorginho, they went to press at the start and Jorginho was five yards in front of David Luiz. It was the biggest space in the world there. You know, I, Man City think, players don't... I think part of that, though, you went, you've went, <coughs> gone from Conte style of football to Sarri style of football, which, for me, are like two polar opposites in terms of blocks. The Conte play with a block, very difficult to break down, happy for the op opposition to have the ball, to Sarri, who now wants to completely dominate possession. To change it over in a space of six months in a year is so difficult, so difficult. So I think the task for the Chelsea board now is to say, is this the man that we're going to back for the long term? Because if it is then he needs... For me, David Luiz is a liability in the back four in terms of the way he, defend, the way he defends his positioning. Marcos Alonso, for me, is an out-and-out -out wing back. He doesn't like to play in a four, and he, he got isolated on the first goal today in transition on Herrera's goal from Rashford going in between. It was always the space in between him and David Luiz. That's a problem <coughs> in the back Didn't four. Didn't even see it, though, so did he? That was the what, what happened with Pep Guardiola when he, when he went in at Man City? Exactly. He gets backed with the players that he wants to fit his way of playing. Now... For all of the talk about Kante playing as a defensive midfield player, Kante is a fluid defensive midfield player. He's not a fixed... At Manchester City, Fernandinho won't move. He'll, he's a fixed pivot in Manchester City's team for the structure of them in possession. But he, Kante, he, Kante doesn't do that for, for teams. Kante is, is the best he, defensive he, midfield he player needs, in the world without For me, he ball. needs to sit there instead of Jorginho or, or sit both of them in there at the it, same it, time. Because yeah, well, if you're playing David fixed, Luiz, as pivot. you said, I'm with you with David Luiz, yeah. I don't think he's good enough in a four. So then I've got to put two players in front then. Exactly. And then put them two the, and then have five or four players. That's the question that Sarri needs to, that, yeah. that needs but to come think, up with. But, but what I'm saying... <laughs> sorry, sorry, Emma. What, what I'm saying in terms of the way that Sarri wants to play is very similar to Guardiola. Yeah. And a fu the key function, when Fernandinho was out of the team at Manchester City, it became very difficult for Manchester City this season. That fixed pivot who can get on the ball and make passes and dictate, that's the way he wants to play. And that's why Kante's not playing there. So Sarri now either has to adapt his way of playing to fit the fact that, come on, Kante for me is absolutely unbelievable for one of the best midfield players in the world. But how do you fit the both of them in, in the side? That's the difficult thing for him at the moment. Well, that's part of the learning curve he's going to have to go through because we had talked about the Chelsea team that large part over the last couple of years have been successful with three at the back through Conte era and wing backs and now being pushed into full back spaces. That means that wide players who might have been two tens before are now seven and elevens. That means they have to defend. And with that comes responsibility. And... As you know, in, in teams, that you've got to have that balance. Yeah. And, and is the balance there right now between attack and defence? Obviously not, because there's goals being conceded on a regular basis. But teams are exploiting the spaces that weren't as prevalent in when you back play five. three at the back yeah. or a back five. Yeah. And there's an adjustment that comes with that. And I know that having played different systems, I had a team that played three at the back for 18 months and changed to four at the back. And all of a sudden, those sp spaces that you covered, you have to think about covering them differently. So there's some tactical challenges that aren't always easily solved. Then you've got cultural challenges that come with that and uh, moving pieces around to, to perhaps playing less comfortable, less natural positions, yeah. which I think the likes of Kante, Alonso are doing. So there's, there's, there's going to be a learning curve, I think, that, that, that the team have to weather at this and moment. I'd like to know your, your opinion um, as a manager yourself or, or a coach. 
something that Liam uh, brought up there, which is fairly finely nuanced. And Gianfranco Zola said the other day, look, Pep Guardiola, he wasn't an instant success when he came to Manchester City, and he was given time. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the manager gets given as much time as he wants. Is it actually somewhere between the two? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, this is not an industry where you get an infinite amount of time to, to just outlast the job. I mean, for myself, when I started at Chelsea, it still took 15 months to really get a team in a position that wanted to get in. And that imparts recruitment, that in part is developing the methodology on the training pitch. And with that comes adjustment. I mean, at Chelsea, we've had two successive Italian managers in recent spells that... Uh, the players, uh, you know, clearly having to find the right solutions yeah. in, in, in this time. And we're struggling, you can see that. And, and, but also, I think it's important to remember, when you start to lose, you know, these guys know much better than I do, confidence starts to go, you get affected emotionally. And you can see the first goal at home, you know, as, as Chelsea did tonight, even though they started the game brightly. And then it puts doubt and it puts anxiety into the performance and then the performance worsens and it becomes, yeah. it becomes it. cyclical. We, we spoke this time last year, I remember being on the same page, it was this time last year we spoke, we spoke about Antonio Conte's frustration in terms of transfer window, in terms of bringing the players he wants to fit the way he wants to play. He was so outspoken in terms of his frustration at the time, in, in terms of what was happening at Chelsea. Now you're bringing another manager in with a completely different philosophy. Are you going to back him or is it going to be, OK, that's not working, let's jump to the next manager. Another manager comes in and says, right, I need to get this player, this player, this player. It's not going to work that way. There's going to come a point where you're going to have to go through some difficult times in order to get long-term success. Is, but the question for Chelsea at the moment is, is Sarri that man? I think that that's what it boils down to. So, because the first part of the season, they were outstanding. They were absolutely outstanding. They went a long time unbeaten, played wonderful foot where everyone's lured in the way that he's, he's gone about his work. Now they've had their first real dip in form, and all of a sudden, it's, well, Sarri's got to go. So, for me, as a club, that it's a huge decision for Chelsea right now. Are you going to stick with Sarri, and he's going to stick with his principles, because that's the way he works as a coach, or are you going to go a different route again? Yeah, I, I, Chelsea, ain't got, Chelsea ain't got the money to do what Pep Guardiola done at Man City. He hasn't got the money to go, right, I, my fullbacks weren't good enough, so I'm going to pay 50 million for mm. one, 50 million for another. Chelsea ain't got that. No, but you they can, haven't got 50 yeah, million. But you can still look at someone like Tottenham and say, well, it's not solely about money, <coughs> but Pochettino has taken three, four seasons to yeah. go through that. It isn't, it isn't that simple. I agree. Solskjaer's in a position going into I a club that has majorly that underachieved in the Mourinho. In terms of the type of performance... He's won trophies, Mourinho, while he's been at Manchester United. For Chelsea, yes, it's a difficult time. And I think, look, this, this is always going to be a difficult question for me to answer. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I understand. But what, what I will say is that just watching it, watching a team that's been largely successful, playing a certain way under Conte, now trying to implement something different with a new manager, have to be given time to do that. I, I, from, a, f f from a Chelsea fan, it looks lazy to me. It looks lazy. You know, I, 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 was, lazy. I was manager at Napoli. Oh, Jorginho was good for me. I'm going to buy Jorginho. I need a forward. Oh, he played with me. Higuain scored a load of goals for me. Could, he, you not I, argue, could you not argue, though, if you've been successful with something, why not replicate yeah. it? Where, where, where were they? I mean, people saying they're successful. He's never won anything in the game. So no, far. so that's one of his most successful periods at yeah. Napoli. Yeah, which was that he got more points. I mean, I never played for a team in my whole life where we never won anything, but we got more points and we were happy. I, I don't work like that. You, work to, you play to win. If you ain't winning, you know, the game's changing. You've got to finish in the top four now. It's all about... Top Are four, you top not four. convinced by him, Paul? And not at the moment. I, I, you know what? I can't wait till Sunday. Not as a Chelsea fan thinking we could, we could win. I want to see what he's going to do Sunday. Turn up. He, went, he, he tried to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He tried to press uh, Man City. It's very hard to press yeah. Man City because their goal is so comfortable on the ball. He's as comfortable as, as the centre-half. So when you try and squeeze, what's he do on Sunday? Please don't tell me he's going to do that again at Wembley. You know, now I hope that he's going to sit back and go, right, let's, let's soak this up. Let's, let's try and play a different way. You know, I've got a few days now. You know, the Malmo goal was a late goal, so that means that Chelsea probably have to play an half-decent team because they'll fancy themselves in the Europa. But I, I, I can't wait till Sunday. I want to see how he sets up, how he's going to play. Please don't play the same way. <laughs> if we play the same way, 
you're going to get the same result. It, it will be the same result, and it, it won't be far off six. Well, have you seen Chelsea play any differently at all this season? But that's what you I mean. This, this, that's what top managers. The, top managers have to change. You have to be flexible. You have to. You can't keep on going out entertaining every week. It's not about entertaining. It's about getting results. You know, that's why you know people. Kante went because uh, Conte went. Sorry, because it weren't free flowing. But we were winning. Surely, I, I, I want to go and watch my team go and win games. I don't care if it's 1-0 or 2-0, I just want to win. I don't want to come away and then get in the car and go, cool, a bit of the neutral watching that thought that was good. Yeah, but the same thing, I remember where Guardiola was in charge losing four at Everton and everyone saying, he can't play this way, he can't play this way, sticks with it, sticks with it, gets backed by the board. And it's not, being backed by the, board, by the board isn't just about transfer budget, it's about, that's our man. That's yeah, our man. No noise has come out. Money buys that man. Mon yeah, money buys that man. But what I'm saying is, look at Pochettino. He's g given time. Pochettino hasn't spent huge amounts of money, but everybody at the club, from the top down in the academy, know that's the that's the way we're going. He's the man we're following. He's going to be there as long as he if, wants. If and if you, you players get a whiff exactly. of vulnerability exactly. exactly. about the manager, they're onto it. Like Listen, a shot, we're, we're vulnerable beings on a daily basis, regardless. Yeah. So, and you're being the manager of Chelsea, I can say that from my <laughs> own perspective, we are permanently vulnerable because the expectation of the club is winning, and that's our culture, that's our expectation. And the history of the club is to change. Yeah. The history of the club, the, the recent history of the club is if things go wrong, if things start to go not how we want them to, we change the manager. So that automatically puts pressure on Sarri. So for me, there comes a point. It might be Sarri, it might be not, where you say, that's our manager for the next two years. The reason we appointed this manager is to build something, to build something, to catch up. Because at the moment, Chelsea are behind Liverpool, they're behind the... Manchester City. So what do, you, what do you expect them to do, go and win the league? <sighs> they won it two years ago. They, yeah, they did now, now two, they're a million miles away in exactly. two years. How can you be but, that but, quickly well, a million miles? Hang on a minute, we were talking yeah, about Man United oh, like, being a million miles away two <coughs> months they ago. They are a million miles away still. From, from Man City and Liverpool. They're from Man City and Liverpool, uh, they are a million miles away. Uh, yeah, but you look at Chelsea, right? If you're the manager of that football team, Rudiger can defend. Asura Quetta can defend. Kante can defend. The others can't. None of them can. So he's got three players that can defend and they try and squeeze teams. Now, if you, you've got to weigh it up and you go, you know, I want to play this way. You know, do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. So yeah. I want to play this way, but I can't play this way because I haven't got them players. So you know what? For time being, I'm going to change the way I want to play just to get through this let me play devil, and I'll let get me, my let players in. Let me play in. devil's advocate here, right? Let's take Sari in this situation. What will you say about Unai Emery trying to implement the same way? I'll back him. Right, so what's the difference? It's none. Why would I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not back. I, I, I'm giving him a little bit of time at the moment because they were wrecked, Arsenal. They were wrecked. They, that was a wrecked team full of average teams. This Chelsea team's full of superstars. They've got superstars. They've got top players in their team. Top players. Arsenal haven't. Arsenal haven't got top players anywhere. But, you know, you might say Aubameyang and, and Lac Lacazette, maybe, them two. But you go through the rest of the team. I mean, you go Chelsea, you've got Kante, you know, Jorginho's supposed to be a decent player. The goalie was £70 million. But we've got... Oh, Higuain's come in, he was like But two equally, years ago. there's a team playing... They're competing... I understand, and you know, I understand <laughs> what you're saying. But they're, they're competing in the final at the weekend. They're still in for, for a shout in the, in the, in the top four. I hope they're competing. We talk, we, we talk <laughs> sometimes like... And, of course, crisis is always associated right. with with clubs in this situation, but there's still a lot to play for with Chelsea. Oh, no, there's, there's still, there's still, <laughs> there's still a lot to do. And, you know, I think emotionally... No. The no, group... There's a long way to go, and this could be a very interesting week. It's not that. At it's, Stamford it's, it's Bridge. So, it, but it's the yeah. way they're getting beat. Chelsea don't go to Bournemouth Let's and get see. beat 4-0. Hey, they could win on Sunday. And they Sunday. don't get six at Man City. <laughs>